Hello everyone, today's video is about a very sensitive subject, but like Will Smith, we're going to keep this between just the two of us. You see, at the end of the video, I'm going to take a survey of my viewers, and I'm going to ask you a very embarrassing question. But how can I be sure that I'm going to get a truthful answer? Well, there's a trick to this. You see, during the Vietnam War, they wanted to find out if the US soldiers were smoking marijuana, because that's illegal, but it grows wild out there. If you ask a soldier, do you smoke marijuana, he's going to deny it. So they came up with this solution. You ask them two questions. One of them is fairly innocuous. One of them is just something like, is the sky blue? To which the answer is yes, if you weren't sure. The second question is, do you smoke marijuana? Now, this is what you do. You take, say, a pack of cards. Half of them say, is the sky blue? Half of them say, do you smoke marijuana? You shuffle them up and you ask your volunteer to pick one of the cards and you ask him to answer the question truthfully but you don't know which question he has. So let's say we do this for 100 people and let's say we get 60 people saying yes. Now we know that 50 of them are saying yes, the sky is blue and 10 of them are saying yes, I smoke marijuana. So you can ignore the 50 of them, you can ignore 50 of those answers, which means that 10 out of the remaining 50 people smoke marijuana. That's 20%. Now you don't know who are saying, yes, I smoke marijuana, but you do know that 20% of US soldiers are doing this. And this is the method they use to ask embarrassing questions. It's called randomized response. Now this was invented by a man called Warner in 1965. And we're going to try this method to answer our own embarrassing survey. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take a coin. I want you to toss the coin. And if you get heads, I just want you to say yes. Put it in the comments below. Nothing more than that. Just say yes. But if you get tails, I want you to answer truthfully. I want you to answer the question, do you pick your nose? Now, I won't know if you've got heads or tails. I won't know which question you're answering, but I want you to put your answer truthfully in the comments below and we are going to find out how widespread this problem is. Now if you don't have a coin, if you don't have a heads tails coin, let's say you just take a dice. Roll the dice instead. If you've got an even number, just say yes. If you have an odd number, I want you to answer the question do you pick your nose? Now, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to be the first person to take part in this survey. So let's do this. And the answer is yes. Okay. Now that's all from me for now. So I'll be back with the results from the survey and I'll see you next time.